I'm Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming this video because I'm super excited because I just got to go to Salvation Army for the first time since everything has started reopening. And I'm super excited. I bought too many books there as per usual. And I kind of have this stockpile built up of all the books I've been buying over the past couple weeks just on Amazon and some other sources and I've also gone to Goodwill since that is reopened. I'm just super excited to actually open everything up and just talk about everything I bought. I have really missed shopping during all the quarantine stuff. I can still online shop but my favorite thing is really Goodwill and Salvation Army because it kind of lets me scratch that shopping itch without spending a ton of money. So first off, this is everything I just bought at Salvation Army. Starting off these two are, so these are kind of throwbacks from my childhood. The Lillian McDaniel books, my sister and I were super into and we read these nonstop. And I recently listened to a podcast where they reread this one. And it really got me thinking about the series and wanting to reread it. And it's actually a trilogy. I did not find the middle one at Salvation Army, but they had the first one and the third one. And I just really wanted to reread these, so I bought them both. It's a little trilogy about a girl who falls in love with an Amish guy, a teen girl. And it's kind of the classic Lillian McDaniel, like she has cancer in the first book and people die and people just die a lot in Lillian McDaniel books and they have cancer a lot too. But that is what happens in both of these and I'm really excited to reread them. And then I got this one, this Mindy Kaling one. I'm not like the hugest fan of nonfiction, memoirs, essays, which I think is what this is. I do love Mindy Kaling, so I've always kind of had it in my head that I might want to read it. So Salt it's of the Army, just grabbed it because I think they're a dollar there. I also got Arrival. I loved this movie. I thought it was insane. I loved everything about it. So when I saw the book, I was just like, yeah, of course. And then we were the lucky ones. Uh, this is one that's been on my Amazon wish list for a while. I think I saw it on like a, a Buzzfeed list of books to read a while ago and I put it on there and I'd kind of keep my eye on it and never pulled the trigger on purchasing it. So when I saw it today, I figured why not? Um, I believe, yeah, I think this is like World War II. So I'm probably not gonna read this one for a while because I've kind of been burnt out on World War II books. They've been really popular, it seems, over the past few years, so I've read a lot of them, and I think I'm gonna just kinda hang on to this one for a while, but picked it up. All right, this one I had never heard of or seen before, but the cover looked really pretty, so I was looking at it. It's called Strangers with the Same Dream. Just reading the inside cover, it seems to be about, in the 1920s, a band of young Jewish pioneers set out to realize a dream founding of a settlement on a patch of land that would, 25 years later, become Israel. So it sounds like it's some historical fiction about something I really know nothing about. And that's what appealed to me about it because a lot of times when I figure out there's something I don't know about history, I like to kind of start with a historical fiction because it kind of gives me something to like hold on to in my mind in a way that like nonfiction might not. So I got this one, pretty excited about that actually. Sounds really good. And then this one called 99 Days. I think this is just a classic um, YA romance um, summer novel. From the inside cover, it seems like it is about a girl and I think she has a love triangle with two brothers. And that is kind of like, if I'm gonna read just a normal YA romance, sign me up for a brother's love triangle because that is my jam. This one sounds like a fun one that I'll just, I'll just wait until I'm feeling in the mood for it. And then I found Final Girls by Riley Sager, which I'm super excited to have bought because I read Lock Every Door and I really loved it. So I've been wanting to read um, the other Riley Sager novels and I had not yet. And I found this one at Salvation Army today. So I was super excited to pick it up. And it sounds like this is a novel about a woman who several years ago was involved in a mass murder where she was a sole survivor and she has somehow banded together with two other girls who are also sole survivors of horrific events so they're kind of the final girls you know the last ones left and they've kind of made this band of friendship and it looks like one of them turns up dead and perhaps someone is going against the others i don't know it sounds exactly like something i want to read so i'm very excited for this one 
and then I found a copy of Daisy Jones and the Six. I read this one several months back, loved it, but I read it on my Kindle after renting it from the library. A lot of times I do that and if I love the book then I'll keep an eye out for a physical copy because I might want to go reread it or this one I really want to potentially loan to my sister and some other people. And this is about a rock band in the 70s and it's told as an interview with all the members of the band so you're hearing all their different perspectives. They are making it into a Amazon series and I think it would be perfect for that and I'm super excited to watch it when that comes out. This is one I would recommend. I've recommended this one to other people. I really like it. I think everyone would. All right, so that's everything I got from Salvation Army. All right, I lost the receipt, but I paid just over $11 for seven adult books and two children's books or middle grade and young adult, whatever these are. Also, like I said, I went to Goodwill um, a few days ago and I got this, which is called Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance. I picked this one up because it's a book of the month club and I recently joined book of the month. I'll get to that in a minute, but Instagram, they finally got me and I happened to notice it and it's in really good shape. So I thought it would look cute next to my other future book of the month club books on my shelf. And it seems like, it doesn't seem like something that I would normally maybe pick up. It's about a man who was orphaned, raised by wolves and single-handedly stopped a tornado one year. Kind of a weird one. It's it's gonna be farther down on my list of books I'm about to read. And then I got this, um, I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This is some kind of mystery thriller about a woman who has lost her child in a car accident, I think. I've been really into mystery thrillers lately and this was one that had been, had also been on my Amazon wish list for a while and I saw it so I just grabbed it. I don't really know much about this one except I've seen it recommended a lot as a memoir or nonfiction that reads like it's a novel. From the back of it, it seems like it's about a woman who in her childhood, her father was an alcoholic. Yes, an alcoholic. And the mother, it seems, was not really into being a parent either. So just a woman who, when she was growing up, had a lot of issues with her parents. And I'm not sure what else, but I've heard a lot of good recommendations on this one. So I grabbed it, thought I might give it a try. And then this one is called Before the Fall. And it's about a man who survives a plane crash and he and a young boy are the only ones that survive. I think he suspects that the plane crash was not actually an accident and he's trying to figure out what happened. There were a lot of like really influential, important people on the plane and he's trying to find out why the plane went down. So I got those four from Goodwill. And it looks like, yeah, the Goodwill, the paperbacks are 129 and the hardbacks are 229 So, some good deals there. And then I have some Amazon purchases to look through. Ooh, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, it's called The Dreamers. It's about some kind of epidemic that is happening at a college town and everyone gets quarantined. And I kind of picked that up for, you know, obvious reasons right now. I'm quite excited to read this one. It's pretty high up on my list of stuff I'm about to read. So I'll let you know more about that when I do read it. Hopefully that'll be in my June wrap up. I think, I, I think I'll get to it this month. Ooh, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is Gemini, or Gemina, Gemina. So this is the sequel to Illuminate, which I read a few months ago and I have Obsidio, so I have the third one, their trilogy, and I, had kind of been waiting to buy this one because I was waiting to see if it would pop up in a thrift store or something, but it didn't and I was really eager to read it so I went ahead and just purchased it. This is one I just would not recommend read, trying to read on a Kindle. Most of my books I do, I rent them through the library on my Kindle, but this one, like the way it's told, there's just lots of stuff like this and I, I just don't think this type of novel really translates well to a Kindle, which is why I ended up, after I liked the first one, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to buy them all, you know, like this. So, picked this one up, excited to get to it. It's a very futuristic spaceship sci-fi type thing. Uh, unexpectedly, I really liked the first one and I'm excited to continue the series. All right, and this one. <laughs> all right, this is called Fable Haven. This is not really my thing. My cousin Jordan, Jordan, if you're watching, look, I did it. I really did. My cousin Jordan recommended this to me. She really wanted me to read this one and review it. And because she is one of my most loyal viewers, 
Thank you, all 10 of you. I decided to go ahead and pick it up and give it a try. She is much more into the young adult fantasy than I am. My last video I talked a lot about how it's just, it. I try it, like I read book descriptions and I'm like, oh, magic circus, and then I read it and it's just boring. This I don't think is one that I would have ever picked up on my own. So I'm a little nervous about this one. It looks like it's a middle grade because it's about mystical creatures hidden in a refuge called Fable Haven to protect them from extinction. And Kendra and her brother Seth, uh, their grandfather is the caretaker of Fable Haven, and they're trying to save Fable Haven. Definitely looks like it's for a younger audience, but I don't know. I've been a little, a little hesitant ever since Jordan recommended The Maze Runner to me, which I did not care for. <laughs> but I'm gonna give this one a try. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it at some point. And then finally, this is the result of me spending too much time on Instagram. Book of the month figured out that I have a bookstagram and I like books and they have been following me with these advertisements from Instagram, Facebook, everywhere advertising book of the month, which I guess is some kind of subscription service where every month it's $14.99 and they send you a book. You get to pick it, so that's nice. It's not like you're getting surprised. They'll pick five books every month that they're recommending and you pick which one of those you want and you can add on extra books. Like they have a big collection and so it's $14.99 for your first book and then you can add on two or three more and those can be $9.99, which is a pretty decent price for you know a, hard, a new hardcover book. Your first time right now, if you sign up, you actually get your first book for $9.99. And I saw they had this which is the newest Riley Sager. It's called Home Before Dark. And this actually does not even come out until next month. I guess Book of the Month sometimes will have these where they will release the book first. So I couldn't even have this if I hadn't done it and it was only 10 bucks, so. And it seems this is about Haunted House, possibly. Uh, sounds good. This is actually, I'm gonna read this book next. As soon as I finish the Ruth Ware one I'm on, this is gonna be my next physical book that I will read. I probably should just cancel after the first month, but I probably won't because I do, as much as I love reading on my Kindle, I also do love having physical books. And I kind of, like I said, I bought another one of these just because I kind of want to like line them all up and like anything. I, I like books. Uh, if this sounds like a fun thing to you, I'm gonna, I have a referral code and I'm gonna put it in the description box down below. But like also if I refer you, I get a free book. So do that. I get most of my books from the library and Salvation Army and it's way cheaper, but I do like getting something new and shiny in the mail, so here we are. All right, and that's it. So those are all the books I bought. You're definitely gonna see some of these popping up in my future videos. If you have any advice on which ones I should get to first, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you've read any of these and you have advice on which ones I should read first, please let me know in the comment box down below and please subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.